New details tonight following a Halloween shooting in Desert Hot Springs. The home where it happened was at the time a licensed vacation rental. As News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco reports, some community members are now calling for tighter regulations. I feel very unsafe in this uh, neighborhood. Edward Bumandil lives on the same block where shots rang out Halloween night. Security camera video we obtained shows people running from a home on Flora Avenue and Choya Drive in Desert Hot Springs. Police say the shooting is still under investigation and that they have no reports of any injuries, but the home that was involved in the incident was damaged. The home was listed on vacation rental website AirDNA when the shooting happened, but has since had its vacation rental permit revoked by the city. Bumandil says he moved here from another Desert Hot Springs neighborhood to get away from all the short-term rentals, but can't seem to escape them. He says the city council is aware of the situation. This neighborhood uh, was described as 88 uh, percent saturation in short-term rentals. Bumandil believes this is leading to problems in the area and says he's not alone. The neighbors are complaining about noise, about construction debris, about trash, about noise, and now about shootings. He wants the city to tighten regulations. On Tuesday, the city council is set to adopt several changes to the current rules, including capping the number of short-term rentals in the city at 4%. Anybody wants to put in a new vacation rental, it can't be more than closer than 500 feet to another vacation rental. Um, but also the occupancy is going up from a maximum 12 to a maximum of 18. Council member Betts says more needs to be done to return neighborhoods back to neighborhoods. I'd like to see some type of lottery system as other cities have done to reduce the number of homes in the already oversaturated neighborhoods. In Desert Hot Springs, Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3.